welcome back to a brand new video. We are out here in Alabama, right outside of Birmingham, picking up this load today. It's gonna to be an interesting one because it's gonna be the heaviest I've ever been. I've already done a video like this before where I said this is the heaviest I've been, but this is gonna be the heaviest I've ever been. The last load I took was 71,000 pounds. This is weighing in right there about 75,000 pounds. I hope so because it's gonna put us right here at our limit. I'm gonna to have to max out all my permits. We're only going from Alabama to Georgia. Georgia, I know you get 125, and I think in Alabama, I gotta do my research, I think it's 120, something like that, might be the same, I gotta look at it. But I know Georgia, you get 125. I know in Florida, when you want six axles to go down a little bit. So this is gonna push the limits of the truck. It's gonna push the limits of my axles and you know everything that I got on my trailer, my truck and trailer is gonna push the limits. So we gotta see if we can even haul it. Thank God I got that gauge scale back there, so we're gonna be able to tell how much we weigh before we even take off. So let's go ahead and get loaded. I gotta swing around this curve around here, excuse me. I gotta swing around this curve, drop my trailer, and I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with, all right? We are unhooked right now, currently. I guess I gotta do a couple more maintenance things on it. This is my trailer right there. Also, by the way, the fuel tanks, man, are working marvelously. <laughs> I haven't filled up since the last fill up, guys. I'm right now at a quarter of a tank, which is good for me. Um, I'm, I'm about to fill up probably once I get down a little bit further south because I'm going, I'm cutting back through Atlanta, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut through, uh, cut through Atlanta and go down south closer to Savannah. It's dropping off closer to Savannah, so it's about a good 200 mile run, 100, 180 miles or so. Um, <sighs> But the fuel, the fuel tanks are working great. Now, granted, I'm about over a thousand miles right now. I'm probably close to 1,100 miles right now. So I'm not saying I'm getting excellent fuel, but I'm getting excellent fuel. You know what I mean? I see them putting the blocks down for it. Get it up there. It should climb up though, it should climb up. But um, yeah, man, I'm ecstatic about that fuel right now. This is what we're hauling right here. This piece of equipment. I've hauled one of these before. The last one I did wasn't this big. The last one I did was about 50, that's disgusting. The last one I did was about 53,000 pounds. This one is 75,000 pounds. And it's a little bit longer. So, it'll all fit the well. It might have a little overhang, might not have the overhang at all. I just stepped in this mud and it is disgusting, man. Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah, it should work out fine for us though, right? It's cool with the controller. It's like a big old RC car. <laughs> so that's the, uh, let me guess. It is.
back a little bit more. Huh? Come back a little bit more. Come back more? Yep. Right there. See that little light? Like that? Come back some more. Nah, leave it right there. See what it looks like? Is it on the tarp? No? All right, so right here in this scene, what you're seeing right now is a part where I didn't get to record everything, man, because a lot of things happened. So one, my airbags went to complete crap, and I'll show you guys pictures of that. I couldn't understand my airbags to save my life. Um, they just said, we're going to leave the building. My airbags started messing up. The load was not fitting on the trailer properly. Um, it was a whole bunch of issues that that load was causing. Now, where the weight was placed, it's a horizontal drill. So all the weight is on one side of the trailer and the front of the trailer, if that makes any sense, right? Um, and I just had to deny the load. I tried to move it, and they they switched, they, 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 they maneuvered the load onto the trailer a certain way so that way I could be able, I, I should be able to haul it. And he was like, yeah, yeah, we do it like this all the time. And in my head, I'm like, dude, first of all, it's not your standard 26 in the well or your 29 in the well, it's 34 in the well. So the the when it's sagging down it's gonna be a lot different than most loads so when they moved it they said okay let's pull forward and get on flat land and see if that makes a difference in which i did they have a little set of train tracks right there i got stuck on the train tracks they had to pull me out with their one of their um, excavators to get me out of that situation and he was like yeah man you can still haul i'm like dude i gotta go 200 miles with this thing like i'm not I'm not finna take a risk because I know you really want to move bad and, and I apologize that it couldn't be moved, but I'm not finna move it. So I denied it. And I know that that's the last thing you want to do, but I talked to the shipper and they understood and it's just something that I didn't want to do, man. I couldn't do it. I honestly couldn't do it. The way it was set up, the way it was positioned on the trailer, no matter where you put it, it just wasn't going to work out properly for me. It just, it just wasn't in my best interest to take a load down there knowing that it could be potential get stuck somewhere or potentially where it could damage my truck damage my trailer it just wasn't worth it and it already damaged my truck because i had to take my truck to a shop and pay 200 dollars to get my airbags fixed because something it it caused something where my driver airbag was lifting up more it was inflating more than my right airbag and from then on it just continued even when i unhooked it continued so it messed something up in the lines or whatever how to get new lines so i did not load and I didn't get any footage of it, man, because like right there in that moment, we're trying to figure out how we're going to get this done. We're trying to take the chains off, repositioning it, putting the chains back on. Took my truck to the shop, came back. All this stuff is going on. I'm like, man, dude, like, dude, I just want to get this load. I want to get this money and go about my business. So they understood. I didn't ask them for a truck not used. Um, somebody else showed up and he denied it also. So it wasn't just me. Last thing you want to do was deny load, but at the same time, you want to take safety over everything else. And take, your, take care of your equipment over everything else. If your equipment is not going to do the job well, don't do it. You know what I mean? And the crazy thing is they had an RGN. If you've seen the video sitting right there in the corner, I'm like, why don't y'all just take the load? You know what I mean? But um, it was just too much, man. Too much. And it might have been more than 75,000 pounds because that thing was really sagging down my trailer. And he, he explained to me, he said, oh, yeah, both of these look the same, but this one is 90,000. This one is 75,000. I'm like, what are the odds that you put the 90,000 pounds on my trailer instead of the 75,000 pounds on my trailer? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I'm not saying I'm not saying that, that was possible, but who who knows? You know who knows. But other than that, that's the end of the video. There's nothing much you could really see after that because I didn't record that much. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Anybody who was truly a subscriber and you guys been waiting for this, I got another video coming forward to go more in depth about it. But this is just a snippet of when I got home and I talked about getting my plaque because my plaque was waiting for me when I got home as well. So enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And look, if you have to deny load, bro. Just deny it. It's okay. I know it sucks. But if you got denied because you don't feel comfortable with it, you don't feel safe with it, deny it. It's okay. Don't use, don't take the load. They'll find somebody else to grab it. Other than that, enjoy. Uh, there's something else there. Congratulations on your, subscri your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in <laughs> I could read, I could read. I just I just had a little I had a little ADHD moment or some shit. Ready? Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with the great care by Rick. If your award was damaged during shipping or if you have any questions, please contact us at youtubecreator at societyawards.com. 
That is freaking fire. Thanks, Rick. Whoever Rick is, that's Rick, Rick and Morty. Mm, Dang, Rick and sign. Morty, it's a sign. Do you remember your first subscriber? Your hundredth subscriber? Or your thousand subscriber? Chances are you do, and we know that you'll definitely remember your a hundredth thousandth subscriber. Your fans may have found you a while searching YouTube, learn learned about you learn about you through a friend or maybe you showed up in a recommended video no matter how they came to your channel your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you built we're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the silver creator award congratulations we know that you have more many more stories to share with your community and we know your fans can't wait for you to be amazed to amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity so keep creating keep building you can't wait to see what you'll do next and we're here to support you along the way and who knows when you reach your millionth subscriber you may just write we may just write you and ask do you remember your hundredth thousandth subscriber am i saying that right hundreds hundreds thousand subscriber yours sincerely neil mohan youtube ceo yeah that's the platform that does look kind of fire it does look kind of fire babe Baby, it does look kind of fire. It's got a little weight, so it does look kind of fire, babe. I can see myself in it. Ooh, the back feels good too, though. And it's, it smells good. You smell that? You wanna smell it? Yeah, I like the people smell it. Presented to Hotshot Benny for passing 100,000 subscribers. But I really want to appreciate everybody who has hit that subscribe button because I know when I watch YouTube, it takes a lot for me to hit the subscribe button on certain people. But if I do really truly enjoy your content, I hit the subscribe button. So for you guys to truly enjoy my content and be rocking with me, the thing was when I first got on board with my dad, the trucking thing was, <laughs> what? The trucking was really his dream. You know what I mean? This was really his dream. And then YouTube was always my dream. So because I invested and sacrificed so much to help with his dream, he invested and sacrificed to help with my dream. You know, he, he doesn't care about the whole, I mean, he cares about you guys, but he doesn't really, he can, he can care less about picking up the camera. He just recently started picking up the camera, as you guys can see, but he he's doing it for me. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't even touch YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just want to thank you guys for the, all the positivity that you guys give us. Even the negative guys who give us negative comments, you guys have given us negative comments that come off negative, but sometimes if you look at them, you guys are really trying to help us out in a certain sense. So I want to appreciate everybody who has commented, liked, shared, watched the video, been the first person to watch the video. I know we're at 100,000, we're at like 104,000 right now. If we can work our way up to 200,000, that'd be fantastic. I'm gonna keep the minimum, the milestone low, that we're gonna keep it at 150,000. So that way, just get another, what, 46,000 subscribers? Work our way to 150K, and then we'll continue to carry on from there. Um, I also have some things I want to share with you guys that's coming up in the near future. Um, I got a couple sponsorships, some new ones. I'm not going to talk too much about them right now, but they are going to be very crucial to the growth of the channel because you guys are going to enjoy the content that comes with it. Just got to get there. Um, what else do I have, baby? That's really it. I mean, other than that, I mean, just hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys for stopping by. This is a hundred thousandth, a hundred, a hundred thousandth. It's a, it was a hundred thousandth. My hundred thousandth. That's Person. how you said all right, that's what I said. So this is the hundred thousandth video. Is this your hundred thousandth video? Yeah, because I was stumbling on the words earlier. A hundred thousand. It's a hundred thousand. Just say this is my one hundred k subscriber video. I know, but I want to say how they said it in the paperwork. Because so. they said your hundred thousandth follow a subscriber. So my hundred thousandth. This is this is this is not your hundred thousandth bit video though. You can't say that. For oh, this. I can't say that for this. No, I get what you're going with that. Yeah, you're looking at the wordplay. So this is my hundred k video. Okay, if I wasn't for if it wasn't for Jay, I don't know where I would be. All right, that's 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 the truth because sometimes um, you know, you know. That's it, babe. That's it. Hey, counting these commas, we run it up. I let these hoes and won't come with us. Sipping that dirty, she getting real sloppy. Staying high, now she living the dreams. On the pants, Magello on me. Jolly Ranchers mix it up with the lean. Johnny Dang, all my diamonds on fleek. Pop me a perk, and she think I'm a geek. Hot in that land, why you looking at me? 
Counting this money, you ain't on my team Setting a plot, we running through schemes Hundreds on hundreds on hundreds I want me a milli, I ain't gon' stop till I rich Getting this money like money, Mitch Promise again that I never switch Yeah